Pak, 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 pak. Chicken Air, bring you another Boom Beach video. Uh, so in today's video, guys, I wanted to um, want to do a bit of um. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about yesterday's video and the uh, the Zuka stuff, like kind of a counter idea to um, to the barbed wire and um, a way that I think we could kind of get Supercell what it wants and um, have it not be such a drastic change to all of us. Um, so while I talk about this, I'm going to get some, uh, some replays going here. I boosted last night, obviously, if you saw the video, so I have some, uh, some pretty interesting... Uh, fully boosted attacks here. <clears throat> this one's not fully boosted, but it was kind of funny anyways. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so So I was thinking a lot about this and I think it, um, One of the ways we could um, obviously there's a million ways to balance it, but um, one of the ways that we could do it is by um, Changing the force point structure, so um, Like obviously right now uh, You get force points for taking down the core and that's the only thing that factors into it. Uh, nothing else really matters as long as you take it down, well, nothing else does matter as long as you take it down. And um, I think a different way to do this and to kind of give them a uh, supercell what, what they're looking for uh, would be to have different force points um, available depending on the troops that you use. And what I mean by this is, like, say uh, Zookas are worth, I don't I don't know the scale, so the, the no actual numbers are going to be off. Say Zookas are worth 100 force points uh, for their attack, and then... Uh, Scorcher tank is worth 500 force points or like 200 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, or like a grenadier attack and say there's like um, Like maybe you have to use one of each different combination at some point um, at some point during the operation to um, <clears throat> To get the maximum amount of force points So I think that would be uh, an interesting way to kind of bring some balance not necessarily balance but uh, get different troops being used uh, this was a horrible attack my god look at this look where the shocks go I put the shock on uh, oh, I'll check that out in a minute uh, I, I put the shocks on the um, like on half my warriors I still managed to do it because I had so much boosted damage but uh, that was a horrible attack overall but yeah anyways back to my idea um, so say you have uh, Zuka's worth 100 force points uh, Scorcher tank worth 500 force points and say there's like um, I don't know there's um maybe eight or ten different um, troop combinations that you have to use and you have to use each of them as soon as you, you use one of them once that would be like you would get the force points for it like you don't have to take the core down with like grenadiers and riflemen like that would just be ridiculous but like using like grenadiers like maybe it's different for each operation like each like this operation you have to use uh one attack with scourges one attack involving grenadiers uh one attack involving um Riflemen, whatever it may be, and then once you get those, then you get the maximum force points. Rather than if you just use all zukas uh, for everything, then you would uh, you would actually not get as many force points as um, <clears throat> you wouldn't get the maximum amount. You would still get a lot, but you wouldn't get uh, as much as you could. Now the problem with this is going to be for five man task forces, and that's kind of the problem with um, with their barbed wire idea in general because the five man you like obviously they do um higher end bases like uh curtain call and stuff but they're just farming force points right so they're not um they're not actually taking these bases down like sure they'll get a solo here and there but uh, for the most part they're farming force points on those bases and they can't afford to have like if they get two uh like scorcher tank attacks or whatever um in in like um dead end or curtain call or something like that could just ruin their whole thing so it's not a perfect idea by any means, but um, just something I was thinking of, like another way to, um, another, um, like a counter maybe to uh, to what they're talking about, just to get people using more troops in higher level operations. I think um, it gets tricky for t 5 and 10 man, but uh, something for 25 man and 50 man, like we basically already do this, right? Like we basically already have like... Grenadiers have their place in Fang, like, Scorchers have their place in Assembly, uh, Heavy Zuka have their place in Humble Pie and, like, stuff like that. Like, there, there is a lot of troop variation. Like, it's not just cut and dry, like, always Zukas all the time. Like, yeah, usually, but not for everything, not 100% of the time. So, I don't know. Um, that's just my idea. Um, 
it's something, right? Like it's something. It's a, it's it's different slightly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into a. Speaking of Zuka variation, we're gonna be getting into a Scorchy tank uh, attack here, guys. And we will see how this goes. We'll attack this guy. Back, back, back. And um, see what we can get done here. Uh, so I can actually shock all three of those boom cannons. So I think I'm gonna take these two out uh, to start with. And I don't think this guy's any ice, judging by how the boom cannons are going down. Um, so maybe we'll start off with this one, and then maybe we can do another one if we have the uh, troops left over for it. Okay. Uh, shock and the shock launchers, just because I don't, I want the tanks to be able to um, to be able to get out and fire um, relatively quickly. So my next GB uses since the, the sorry, it's, my next GB uses since the scorchers are out in front of the tanks now is going to be to clear these boom cannons uh, as quickly as possible. Um, I can take it down. No way. Okay, so so we're looking all right here. We're looking all right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a shock down here, and I'm actually gonna flare onto the core because I think I'm gonna have enough. Yeah, I think I'll have enough full damage to take it down. And there we go. But back, back, back. So we'll take down a little harder base. That was a good warm up for the uh, scorchy tank, you guys. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. What you guys come up with, come up with in the comments. Um, definitely a million ways to uh, to go at this, so I think we can get creative and kind of uh, solve their problem for them. Back, back, back. Or whatever, just have fun uh, brainstorming new uh, new ideas or whatever. So I think here I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around the left. I think, because I think I can avoid that one boom cannon completely. Up there, one, two, three. Um. What do I want to take out here, guys? What do I want to take out here? Uh, I'm going to get rid of this boom cannon first off. I'm not sure how much ice this guy has. He's got three ice, okay. So this should be a little harder than the last base, I think. Uh, next, I'm going to get them up here into this corner. Because I want to avoid as many cannons and um, boom cannons and stuff like that as possible. Uh, okay, so next we're going to take a... Um, we'll kind of get that back boom cannon. Um, on our way to the HQ, so I think we can go ahead and leave that one for now. Uh, I am going to take this guy out. And where are we going here next? Uh, the shock launcher is going to start to be in play. I'm going to throw a barrage down there. I think we can go ahead and shock this one while we wait um, for the artillery to load up here and take this one out. Uh, I don't want to reflare because the shock launcher is going to make that really difficult. So maybe we can get the far shock launcher. Okay. Uh, I think we did just pop a scorcher. So since now that the shock launcher is shocked, I can kind of move my way back over here. I'm gonna throw some critters down there. I need to get that uh, shock blast just stop. That's a tank killer for sure. Um, I thought I threw down this shock bomb. Oops. Um, okay, so. All right, so we gotta be worried about the shock blaster. Uh, hopefully we can critter that, and that'll give us enough time to uh, kind of regroup here. Okay, okay, now we can just reflare up here, and we'll be out of range of everything except the rocket, and that should be the raid. So yeah, Scorcher Tank's still obviously viable for PVPs. This guy only had three ice, but um, he still went down like pretty easily. Like, I, I wasn't really doubting that raid at any point. And boom, 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 boom. So yeah, let me know uh, in the comments what you guys think are some um, some ways that we can get more um, troop variation in higher end operations. Uh, definitely interested to hear that. There goes the supply chest guys, we got our shards and we are out of here. So yeah, let me know that down in the comments what you guys think, um, if there's any ways that we can come up with or whatever to, um, to kind of solve this uh, this thing that they're talking about. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one. Chicken out.